today we are talking fish oils. Yes, omega 3 is amazing. Welcome back to Holistic YYC. My name is Jara, and I want to thank you very much for coming here. Hopefully we can learn a couple of things and I can help you save some time, some money, and some frustration over supplements because nobody likes to waste money on supplements that don't work. Because we do not want to cheap out on omega-3s. Why? Because waste and toxins tend to stay in fat cells. So if you're buying fish oils that are already contaminated, that have a bunch of toxins in there, that have a bunch of waste products, you are mainlining all of that shit right into your cells. No thank you, mm -mm. So that brings us to point number one. Making sure that your fish oils are of the highest quality. Now, if you're not buying professional grade, like in a professional office, and you're going to the grocery store, you can still buy really good fish oils. There are some really good ones out there. So we wanna look for third-party testing. So the IFOS is a one of the third-party testing companies out there that has tested probably over 100 different types of fish oils so far. And they test for purity, they test for potency, they test for contamination, for waste, etc. Um, so this is a really good indication that you are buying a very good quality oil. Beware. There are some companies out there that have this seal of approval, but the funny thing is, is when you look into it, they only test one product, and they only approve one product, and it happens to be maybe a sister company of that other guy product. So just because something has a seal of approval does not mean that it is like the best. Tip number two when buying fish oils is making sure that the bottle is not see-through. You want to make sure that there is no see-through containers. Why? Because fats, all fats, this goes for cooking oils too, all fats are very sensitive to light, air, and heat. Also, same with nuts. Keep your good quality nuts in the fridge um, and away from sunlight. So <clears throat> I digress. Making sure that it is in a non-see-through container. If your fish oils are in a bright see-through container with capsules that are also see-through, chances are if they're not already rancid, they're gonna go rancid pretty fast. But this particular company has gone over and above and they have purchased the capsules that are dark. So that again, adds a little extra layer of protection against that light, that air, that heat. Um, I haven't seen all companies do this, but you know, it's kind of nice. All right, dark container, dark covered capsules. Um, liquid of course is a little bit better. It's more efficient at being absorbed. I on the other hand, cannot stand the taste of liquid fish oils. I think it's disgusting. I have, I went through two bottles so far during the beginning of my pregnancy. It is not for me. It's so gross. Um, it's, just, ugh, it's just really bad. So I prefer capsules. There is an option out there. Um, if fish burps, because fish burps are the worst. Oh, they're the worst. If fish burps is something that you were concerned about, capsules may be um, a better option for you. But a tip is that I always take my fish oils right before I go to bed because your immune system kicks in when you sleep. So it kind of works in conjunction with your immune system, first off. Second off is that you really don't have, you don't get fish burps. Um, there's some, some people that mention to take fish oils with food because it helps mitigate the fish burps. I have found the exact opposite. Most of my clients that I recommend to take them right before they go to bed haven't had an issue with fish burps. Um, it's, that's just my tip of the day, tip of the day. All right, so we've gone over the third party testing. We've gone over the bottles. Um, if you're gonna get liquid, make sure that the liquid is in a dark container. I've seen a lot of really good products. They will be in a dark glass container, usually on the lower shelf, again, to protect from air, light, and heat. The other thing that you want to be kind of skeptical about is when the label says on the front, oh, we've got a thousand milligrams of fish oils. Just because there's a thousand milligrams of fish oil does not mean that it's got a thousand milligrams of beneficial 
fish oils. So the two beneficial fish oils, the two beneficial fish oils that you want to be looking for is EPA and DHA. Let's take a look at some labels. So this particular brand, we've got our EPA up here, which is 790 milligrams. Then we've got our DHA, which is 140 milligrams. Then we've got the rest of the omega-3s, and we've got some lipase, vitamin D, and vitamin E here. The total fish fat is 1160 milligrams. Great, it's pretty much all accounted for. There's very little um, leftover fish fat. Take a look at the back of your fish oils. Now if that says it's, there's a thousand milligrams of fish oil in there and you look at the back and you see there's maybe 250 milligrams of EPA, 125 milligrams of DHA, what the hell is the rest? What is it? It's just fish fat. It is fish fat. It's filler. That's garbage. Like, you're literally getting a third of what you're paid for. You're wasting your money. There's no point. So. That is going to be the key takeaway from your omega-3 fish oils that you want to make sure read those labels. Okay, oh, last thing, last but not least, because fish oils are so sensitive to light, air, and heat, really, really, really check your expiry dates. Check, check, check your expiry dates, absolutely. Um, do, not buy your, do not buy your fish oils if they're like a month out because chances are they're probably gonna be rancid. And I mean, first off, rancid fish oil is gross. How about rancid fish oil burps being like even grosser? No thank you, not there. If you have learned something today, if you enjoyed this video, if you really like my hair, give it a big thumbs up. If you wanted to look, get some more information on some more videos, please subscribe. I would be very so, so grateful for you. And I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful evening.